everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome. Today is June 1st and it is crafting therapy, but I'm going to show you the new challenge for this month and giveaway. I'm excited about it and it's really going to be fun because you're participating this time. So this uh, challenge is going to be a giveaway also, which includes um, my subscribers you also must be 18 or older. Um, you must be U.S. or Canada only. And uh, let's see, you can enter every day. And that will be for one of the giveaways, but there's going to be two. And the other one is a challenge. And I hope you'll participate. So I'm going to show you. It is a memory decks card challenge. And it's going to fit, as you saw on the thumbnail, into my vintage Rolodex that I had picked up some time ago. And I just wanted to show it to you because um, actually the cards in the Rolodex are about three and a half by two and a half. But I would suggest you make your card about four by three and a half. And I'm going to show you how to make one and the example that I made. You'll decorate it however you want. You can do more than one if you'd like. And then you'll mail it to me. And June 30th will be the day I'll uh, draw the winners. And in this challenge, you will be... Um, decorating or embellishing one side and then on the back you'll include something about yourself your social media if you have a youtube channel and make sure that i get your address which would be on your envelope i'm assuming and um let's just have fun with it it's really fun and i'm going to put all of them in my rolodex and have memories of you right there so let me show you how it's going to work. All right, so a Rolodex is like this, and if you've never seen one, it's what people, offices used to keep, names and addresses, companies, even um, maybe business cards in, and that is how you kept your phones and you know numbers and addresses to call people and contact them. So what we're gonna do is a Memory Dex card challenge You'll or, make a memory dex card, and I'm going to give you the size. If you don't use a regular Rolodex card that you already have, you can upcycle that, of course. But these are measured four inches across and three and a half inches down. And then to make your holes, that is um, just a regular hole punch where I cut up with scissors to make it slide into the Rolodex. And these is one and a half inches from each side. And so that will show you where you punch out. And then on the back, and this is just an example. I love the beach, so I just made one for the beach. And on the back, I put a pocket. You don't have to do that. And then a little tag. But you would want to include something about yourself on the back. It doesn't have to have your address on here, but like your social media, if you have a channel, something you would like me to share with everyone. Because I will share these as we go through the month and as I receive them. So you want to send them to me to my P.O. Box, which is P.O. Box 446 Bixby, B-I-X-B-Y, Oklahoma, 74008, and that will be in the description below along with the rules and guidelines for the giveaway. So this is one I made, but I want to show you how to make it. And so what I'm using here is my trimmer and the Rustic Playground Vintage Seamstress Kit. Now, I didn't print the whole kit yet, but I showed it to you not that long ago. We made uh, the little button journaling card. We cut out some of the pockets, and I showed you how to fold those. It's a beautiful kit. It is now live on her site, and it's a subscription kit, which you can get um, by the month, or if you want to sign up for uh, the... All acts of the um, Vintage Visionaries Club, you can do that. And I have a discount code 
which is Cindy, C-I-N-D-Y, for 50% off your first month or 50% off the year. And uh, you will love it. She has beautiful designs and artworks and kits, all for junk journaling, and you will love it. And if you haven't seen any of my videos, I've done several. So I encourage you to check that out. And that's what we're going to be using today to make a memory dex card. So I've already measured. I'm just using a file folder as my base. So I've measured it four inches by three and a half. And then what I did was take a little pencil mark and I went up half an inch and then I measured from one and a half inches from each side and put a little X there. That's where I'm going to punch my holes. But I want to make sure it everything fits on there first. So this is from one of the tags in her kit. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to glue that on. And then on the back, this is part of one of the papers. So I'm going to glue that on as well. I want to make sure it fits. So I'm going to trim it down just a little bit so that it um, is more of a, a matte layer. And then there's a pocket from her kit. And then this is a little like ticket. So I'm going to put it on this front piece. Got some buttons, not real buttons, but you know, some from her kit that I cut out. I'm gonna put some lace or some flowers on there and give it a little embellishment. So first, before I cut this, I'm gonna trim this piece and I'm going to go ahead and vintageize or uh, use some ink, which is Distress Oxide Vintage Photo, which is my favorite. And I'm gonna go around the edges and get everything prepped. But first, I'm just gonna trim this a little bit because I want it to be a little bit smaller than the actual base. And let's just trim it on this side. All right, just so that you can see. All right, so we're gonna take these pieces and I'll show you, I'm going to, I'm not going to round the corners on this one like I did on the other one, but I am going to go around the edges on both sides with the um, ink and around all the pieces for the card. So I'm just showing you how to make one. Okay, so all we're gonna do is glue this on and just making a quick little example for you so you can see how it fits together. And this one, I'm doing a sewing because I'm ready to do a sewing journal. I can't wait to do it. And now that the Rustic Playground is released, I'm very excited about that. Now on the back here, I wanted something in the background and then I'm gonna put that little pocket so I can include information, which would be what you would do. So then I'm gonna take this little ticket, it fits perfectly in the center there and I'm just going to um, glue that. And it's easy to follow with these lines here. And then I've got these little buttons and I didn't sew them on, but you could do that if you wanted to. Let's just do this. Because I wanna make sure I'm not cutting those. So I'm gonna scoot that over. And it's okay if it hangs over. Now I pulled some different laces and everything. I wanted to see what I would like on there first. So we've got that one. We've got this I really like. But I think if I put it on the front, it would just be like one. And then we have this one, which is cute, but it kind of covers up the girls. Well, we could do it up at the top. I think I'll go with that one. And then all I'm gonna do is glue it up here at the top. You can make a shaker card. You can make a photo card. You can make um, however you want. It's just up to you. So we can leave that one and then we'll just take one of these from this ribbon and we'll glue it here. And then I want some words, but I'm not sure what I want on there yet. And so we've got that. And then before I um, punch it, I'm gonna see kind of where this pocket will lay. And I think if it's kind of up to the top or it could be in the center is okay. I think so. 
And so we're going to go ahead and punch it. Now this is just a regular hole punch. It is a strong one and I do have it in my Amazon uh, shop. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So I'm showing you just punch your hole. That's stuck in there. Okay, so you just punch your hole where you marked your X which I can't see very well. So let's see if I can take that off so I can show you. All right, there's my X right there. And this punch is relatively inexpensive. I think it was seven maybe or five. And you can um, punch up to 20 sheets of copy paper with it. So to cut your... Um, little hole up to get to your um for the rolodex you just cut um little tiny eighth of an inch or so you can make it bigger if you want so one and it'll just slide in there um with it like that so that's really cute i love these designs from uh, rustic playground and the pocket here already has the tabs to fold over so you just um glue of choice you'll just put that on your journal page or whatever and here I'm using it on this piece here I'm going to take a couple buttons just to um, go with the same theme that I have on the front and the back I'm not as concerned about the um, you know decorating part or embellishing but uh, let's cut two see how that looks yeah that looks cute so we'll just put a little glue here and glue this on the back and then I could slide a tag in there all right so I cut that out put a little twine on there and stick that in the pocket and there you go so these are the two that I made they're completely different but it's easy and you get to have fun with it so I hope you'll participate in the giveaway the entry word for entering if you just want to you know be a part of one of the giveaways is putting the word cindy c-i-n-d-y in the comments below this video so all the details are in the description to participate in the giveaway for the entries, you can enter as many times as you like. Be sure to put your name and information on the back and then your address. And the giveaway is for a $20 gift card for the mail-in entries and a $20 gift card to Amazon. Both of them to Amazon. Am I saying that? Both of them are to Amazon, and there's a $20 gift card for the mail-in entries and a $20 gift card for the comment entries. So thanks so much for being a part of my channel. I hope you'll participate in June. Again, the giveaway drawing will be June 30th. So thanks so much. I'm excited for June, and I can't wait to do more with you. Don't forget about Rustic Playground's beautiful vintage seamstress kit if you want to join the vintage visionaries club use the word cindy for 50 percent off your first month or 50 percent off the year it's a great deal you don't want to miss out and she has beautiful things and that includes everything in her etsy shop as well her etsy shop is gorgeous so check that out and thanks so much for being a part of my channel and have a great day bye